had an idea last night. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I want to replicate this drill bit in resin. We're going to need a few things. Just going to cut off the end of this empty plastic bottle. This is really thin plastic, but it should be okay, I, I think. I think I'm just going to load this up and then just set this down into it. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good amount. Look at that, we just made some weird art. The bit signifies aggression, and the plastic around it signifies worldly constraints. Bit of plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and let the, the glue harden up, and we'll hit this with a bit of mold release. I didn't have any silicone in the shop. Went down to my local store. Nicole helped me out with this. I've never used this before. She said it was good stuff. So, it's one-to-one -one by volume. Uh, you don't need a vacuum for it because apparently it's pretty low viscosity. Do not mix in a paper cup or with wooden stir sticks. They can cause inhibition to cure. So, never seen that before. We know that the bottle is 16 ounces and we're probably not going to need that much, but we're going to mix that much. So that's 8 ounces of each part A and part B. It's going to be hard to tell when these two substances are mixed together because they're both the same color. I'm not really sure when it's going to be done. Just like Abraham Lincoln said, if you've got 15 minutes of open time, you can spend five minutes to scrape the bottom and the sides. Is it mixed? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it's mixed. I think it's a pretty flimsy mold. I'm going to give you that one. But there's a ton of hot glue down here and uh, I think it'll hold. Hey, it didn't tip over. I promised I was breathing that whole time, for real. I really was. I'm gonna put the don't mess with me hood on top and we'll check on it in a few hours. All right, so there's a little bit of silicone left in the bottom of the mixing cup and I just dropped a handful of screws in there. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then you'll probably never see this footage. I just put a little isopropyl alcohol down here. And I should just be able to pop this. Again, it's really hard to tell if it's a good mold or not. It certainly looks like it is. We have plenty of support from the silicone on the sides. I guess the only thing to do now is to pour some resin in there and see if we can get a good reproduction. Back a couple of years ago when I made the micarta hammer out of Adam Savage's book, I thought it would be interesting to show the difference between a resin hammer versus a micarta hammer. And so I CNC'd out the hammer shape in plywood and I built a quick and dirty mold around but it. That video got kind of long and lengthy and I felt like there was enough explanation already as to why the micarta hammer worked. And I figured since we're already doing the drill bit and maybe even some of these screws, you know what, the more I look at it, I don't think it'll fit in the pressure pot. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in there and let's mix up some resin. I'm using Total Boat's high performance resin today. I'm just sitting here thinking about the fact that I've got a clear mold and I'm gonna be pouring clear resin into it. Um, it's gonna be really hard to see when this is full. All right, so that's not working. 
I've got a tiny funnel, so I think that should definitely help. And um, we'll just take it nice and easy here. Just got a light behind here, trying to see if I can tell when this thing's full. And it looks like there's resin all the way up to the top here. I think it goes all the way down. It is really hard to tell. I filled resin in a couple of these. I'm going to put it in the pressure pot and get the lid on before this all starts to cure. Looks like it's cured. So since the mold was made from plywood, the um, finish is a bit dull. You can fix that with a little sanding. I don't have high hopes for anything that survived this. Oh, that one doesn't look bad. There we go. It's almost an entire screw. That looks pretty good actually. Alright, I went ahead and sanded and polished the hammer and then decided I should get a couple of glamour shots of these just because I wanted to see what they all looked like at their best. Because honestly, while it was fun to replicate these, I think the question we all want the answer to is whether or not they can hold up to actual use. Let's start with the one I think has the best chance of success. But just, just for grins, this hammer weighs 97 grams. My standard hammer weighs 740 grams. So what I've got here is a piece of pine, just a regular nail. If you remember when we did our test with Adam's hammer, it didn't have any trouble driving a nail. Uh, it was a lot heavier. I'm going to hit it pretty hard. So if I hit this thing as hard as I can, it will definitely drive a nail. If you look here at the end of the hammer, it still seems to be in good shape. Um, oh, I guess we should see if it can actually pull the nail back up too. Oh, not so much. Oh, there it goes. All right, so yeah, that's a hammer, mostly. It can drive a nail and remove it. So there's our original nail and three copies. And this one you can see has a pretty standard head. And then these two other ones have sort of this, I don't know, abomination head, which I'm hoping we'll give it a little bit more and strength. We'll see if we even get past the first whack here. And it shattered. All right, I'm quickly running out of nails. And I'm gonna use a real hammer. All three of these came out really good, like a really good casting. This one here, we've got a little issue with the, the head. Let me get the driver and we'll give this a shot. Let's just see if this holds up at all. <laughs> Not a great look. I'm just gonna mount it in here.
Poor little things. Poor little broken things. 90% sure, based on the evidence thus far, that this is the last time I'm going to see this drill bit in one piece. Family, any predictions? It might work. Is that hardwood or softwood? It's pine. Which makes it hardwood or softwood? It makes it soft. It's, <laughs> soft. it's very soft wood. Okay. It is the softest wood I could find. Maybe it'll work. I Red. think it's got a 50-50 chance. 50-50 chance. There's the wood getting a hole in it. Does anyone see a hole in the wood? No. Is there a hole in the wood? <laughs> I feel like I'm having some weird dance partner that doesn't know how to dance. <laughs> Stay on the wood. Yeah. No. A huge success. No bueno. Results are yeah. <laughs> okay. So it was still a fun process. And I actually did have an idea if this video has any interest. I do have a follow-up idea that I think might make a lot of these things work better. So if you've got interest in that, leave a comment down below. Uh, if I get enough interest, then maybe we can do a follow-up. But yeah, epoxy tools, not nearly as good as regular tools. And on that bombshell, I will say goodnight.